Well, I think somebody's been practicing bushcrafting. Not a bad job. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Bigfoot would have done that good of a job. Probably a Boy Scout or something. <laughs> hey YouTube. I'm out for another hike today. I stopped for lunch and I thought I'd show you some of the cool finds that I found at Menards while I was in there. This is my uh, small tarp. <laughs> and I got this on sale. They had it uh, marked down. I think it was like $5.99. But what this is, is the top of a duck blind. So I just ran a ridge line. And then I just took the straps that come with it that you hook on the inside of the duck blind to the S hooks and hooked it to there and ran it across there and same way with the I secured it with some sticks at the bottom with the little straps that come with it that you hook inside the duck blind but I don't have one of these, uh, you know, nylon type tarps. All mine are the, the noisy kind. So I saw that and I thought, hmm, I wonder if we could make a tarp out of that. So I think it's okay. They had them, oh, about 10 or 12 of them there marked down. I don't know. I was thinking about dyeing this material a pretty pink color. But I don't know if it'll die or not. I might go back and get a few more and, you know, I might even sew them together. Make a bigger tarp. Because I can't afford the $90 tarp that people buy, the great big ones. I just, it's not within my budget. <laughs> but I also picked up this for $4.99. I like the uh, sack that it was in, but it's... I don't know, it's like a wool, piece of wool cloth or something. Maybe you deer hunters use it up in your deer stand or something. I thought it would be a nice pad to go under my sleeping pad. I'll get it out here and show it to you. Well, what it looks like it is, is a floor mat for a deer stand. But, you know, for five bucks, I can use it to sit on or... You know, carry it in my pack and put my knees down on it or whatever. I just like the the camo sack that it was in. <laughs> I'm always a sucker for a good deal. So I'm gonna get my uh, lunch started, and this time sh you should be able to get to see it because I got plenty of memory. I got some neat backpacking food I want to show you. So I'll get it set up and be right back. Yeah, I brought my new uh, stove out, and one thing I really like about this stove is that it's all one piece. There's no, you know, no guesswork. It's all one piece. I, I really like it. It's not too heavy. I'm not, I'm still not too crazy about that camp heat, though. <laughs> It just doesn't seem to get as hot as my my rainbow stove does. But I really like the stove. I don't knock my coffee off of it like I do my other one. <laughs> well, the first thing I wanted to show you was these. I found these Hungry Jack premium hash brown potatoes. And they're, they're in like a milk carton. They're really lightweight. 
and they're you know they're dehydrated so it says it makes a pound but now I'm not going to use all of them so I'm only going to pour just a few in my cup to get them rehydrated but on the back here it just says add hot water to the fill line which is the top of the carton with uh, hot water and then let it set for 20 minutes and then drain well and then you can fry them and they're really lightweight I think you get these you know and where your your instant potatoes are and stuff like that but I thought for the weight wow that's pretty good I'm not going to use them all or anything but I am going to add some stuff to it so I'm going to pour them in my water here and wait 12 minutes and then I'll be right back well first I got some brown and serve sausage that I'm going to cut up and put it in my potatoes stuff that's already cooked I brought it out frozen my potatoes are just about soaked up all the water so I've got a few more minutes to go and that was a nice surprise some horses <laughs> Cool. Okay, I got my cup of coffee and I got a little bacon grease going in my pan there. Getting ready to put my taters in. I think I made too many. <laughs> oh well, I'll feed it to the birds. <laughs> Get them stirred up. it has been cooking for a few minutes. I had a little bit of uh, bacon bits left in this bag and a few green onions. So those are going in. And then the sausage that I cut up, those are going in. And I'm going to put the lid on it and let it cook for a little bit. Get right back to you. It's still cooking. This is where I'm at, just off trail a little bit. It's pretty here. little salt and pepper there you have it and yes I already took a bite of it and it's really good 12 minutes to hydrate it I don't know maybe 10 minutes warming it up warming everything up And that's only probably, I don't know, maybe a third of that box. It's not even half. It makes a nice lunch. I can't, I, I think it was about a dollar, I think a dollar 19 for that box. Probably get two or three meals out of it. It says it makes a pound of potatoes. All right, I'm going to eat my lunch and we'll get back to the 
hike. Thanks for watching.